Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Wild Crandor. Whoa, my god, we're getting attacked by Spellweaver Marathel. Alright, we got our thing. Um, yeah, I was just going to turn on the audio, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, here comes Spellweaver Marathel. Last time we didn't even see her, now she's running to us. So, uh, hello. <laughs> so now we got that. Uh, we can we can actually find find the other quests we gotta do. Well, we gotta turn in these other quests and then. Um, oh, I love that music, that cello. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, where's Beth? Oh wait, here's Bessie. Why wasn't Bessie here last time? Maybe someone else was. Uh, maybe someone else was doing it. Cal looks at you just distrustfully, but stands its grounds. Uh, it's ground. Why did I add grounds? Bessie Bell. Removing the bell from your pack, you ring it a couple times and show it to Bessie, who seems to recognize it. The cow allows the bell cord to be fastened around her neck and looks at you expectingly. Realizing that Bessie is still staring at you, you gesture toward that L's location. You find yourself promising to protect the cow on her way home. Upon finishing your sentence, you realize there's no finishing your sentence. You realize there's no possible way the cow could understand anything you've said. Shrugging your shoulders, you prepare to guard the bovine on her way back to Thad L. Alright. Moo. Yeah, let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll, Larry. This is episode 120. 120 episodes of World of Warcraft leveling. Wowie. And this might be the, uh, the final Outland one. I think we might be moving on to Northrend next episode. Just depends on how well we do here. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. Let's keep going. Keep going, Bessie. You know what? I'm going to turn up this music a tad more. I like the music here. Uh, yeah. It kind of reminds me of StarCraft. Moo! Yeah, your ghost. I like how they're... Like, this might require two people to help you out on this quest, and I'm like, I don't think, you, I don't think you've updated the uh, requirements since Outland, if that's the case. Ooh, another weave claw. Alright, we keep on walking. Cross the bridge. How you doing, Bessie? Bessie's doing good. Walking with the bell. Slowly but surely, we keep moving. I think I did something on escort quest, didn't I? Oh yeah, that was in my how to win it quests. That's what it was. I knew I did something on escort quest. Uh, whoop, get out of here, severed defender. Whoop, there we go. Keep on moving. We keep on moving. We're almost there, don't worry. Uh-oh. Oh god. We're getting hit from multiple angles. It's a trap. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. We keep moving. Moving. Ha <laughs> ha. The puns. Hey, right, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost level 69 as well. 72%. There we go, slow but surely. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. There we go. Hey, it's Thadel. Look, it's Thadel. Thadel? Thadel? Bessie, you're home! Thank the light! Is that you? Farmer turns to you. Thank you for bringing back my Bessie, Zali Zaron. I couldn't live without her. So we got the cowpoke writing gloves, which are better than my gloves. I will equip them. And the apprentice occasionally looks over his shoulder. Oh, wait, I already heard that, I think. Master Ronz has taught me everything I know about my trade. I will honor his memory by using my skills to serve the people of Kirin Var. All right, cool. <laughs> I will honor him by teaching the people by trade. It's, it's, it's cool, dude. Where are my new pants? So I'll put them on, too. Oh, man. We got some green scale pants on now. Yeah, boy. 
Uh, Conjurer Lumen Wrath. We used to always comment that Lumen Wrath would wear that cloak just about anything. With just about anything. To him, red went equally well with white. Black, purple, blue, yellow, orange, and green. He would never wear the same robe two days in a row, but the cloak was always there. Nice. Um. Alright. Uh, unlocking the com compendium. Oh, wait, do I have to summon. What's his name for that? Let's summon him out here. There he is. Excellent, Zalyzara. Now we have most of what we'll need to attempt to break Kalthos's magic. And if the Blood Elves suffer from the loss of their local commander, so much the better. The next thing we must do is reclaim my familiar, Glacius, from the Blood Elf Summoner who holds it captive. Summoner Canthan is one of the most senior magisters in the force Kael'thas sent to decimate Kirinvar. <laughs> it's only a natural that he would claim my familiar as a kind of trophy. I'm certain that Canthan, fool that he is, has tried to compel Glacius to serve him. My scrying has revealed that Canthan is now stationed at Mana Forge Duro. If that terminology has any meaning for you. It doesn't, but my map will tell me where it is. Oh, look, it's over there. Let's go. Sorry, guys. I'd keep doing your quests, but, uh... Yeah, I don't care enough about you. All right. <laughs> Actually, this guy, he might have more Archmage Vargoth-type quests. What did he want me to do? Search the mana creature infested area of Kirinvar village for a mana bomb fragment. I don't know if I care about that. Torching Sun Fury. It's just killing Blood Elves, Sun Fury, uh, whatever. Alright, we're just going to help out Archmage Vargoth here. That's all we need to do. Get a little tour of up in this area. Nether Storm. Oh, yeah, look at that sky. Oh, that music. Let's take it in for a moment. Oh yeah. yeah, this is like ASMR to me. Isn't it weird how certain maps, zones, music, whatever it is, they just take you back. They just take you back to years ago. And it's not even to like your whole generic age of that time. It's just one specific moment that you really remember. Uh, it's just, it's so cool to me how the brain works. Brains are so cool. Wow. That's that thing where never, everybody's always like, that's that you talking, that's your brain talking, your brain saying that you're... Blah, 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 blah. It's like, I know. I know that I am my brain, so right now me talking is technically my brain, but a brain is a part of my body, so it all adds up to being one thing. It's, we, do, we don't need to go here. We don't need to go here. Larry, go get him. There you go. Here, let's keep killing all these guys. Doop doop. All right, so we need to go into here. There's also a flight path over there. Hold on. Actually, let's just go in here. Wait, is he gonna fight? Is he you gonna chase me down, dude? Bad mistake. You picked the wrong time to fight. Person, I don't know what else. <laughs> wrong time to fight person. You picked the wrong time to fight person. Oh shit! Look at all this food. Larry, get off the table. All right, we got <laughs> meat. We got fish. We got looks like some sort of dumpling thing. Uh, we got berries. We got more berries. Oh my god, delicious, delicious. Uh, now we need to get. Whoever this guy is. Wait, Waddle's Fizz Crank? Get out of here. Did this guy kill him already? Probably did. Wait. Vargoth, I don't see him in here. I think this guy killed everything. He must have. Maybe if we check outside. It's a bunch of nether beasts. Can I kill them? I think so. Okay. Get out of here. Oh my god, they just keep coming. They just keep coming. 
Oh, is, are they down here, maybe? God, I'm like spinning around. Stone of glasses. Larry, get out of there. It's dangerous. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Let's go over here. I think he's over here, right? He's probably outside. Uh, who's this? Who just disappeared? Sun Fury Conjurer? I bet they're here. Let's kill this Conjurer. Is this him? It's another Conjurer. Conjure me up some glassy stones. Ooh, Arcane Tome. I think those used to sell for a lot, from what I remember. It's gotta be here, right? It's gotta be here. If it, put, if it puts it right here, I'd imagine this is it on the map. Let's read it one more time. Stationed at Manaforge Duro. So we're at Manaforge Duro. There's also someone here, I think, trying to steal. Steal him. Um, I think we got this flight path. I don't even really need to, but I got nothing else to do. And I kind of want to go get it. So I'm going to go get it. Oh yeah, and up there's the instances. There's one of them. There's another one. I remember one had uh, this plant boss. I remember one of them had this plant boss in it. And it was really annoying. I'm sure somebody remembers. I think it was Botan... Was it the Botanica? I think it was the Botanica. Which would make sense, because it's plants. Uh, hello. New location discovered. <laughs> He wants me to kill imps. I'm not a fan of killing imps. Oh, it's a zombie dragon. It's a zombie dragon. Hell yeah, dude. Sick mount, bro. Uh, wah, wah, wah. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> probably respawned by now. Probably dead by now. The guy already probably killed it. But we're going to find out anyway. We're going to find out anyway. Alright. Back we go. We hope that they've respawned. And... They either respawned and died, or they haven't respawned. Let's check inside again. Let's just check inside again, right? Duo, con Duo control console. What if I hit this? Is this what I have to do? It's probably not, but we can do it anyway. <laughs> Got nothing else to do. Doesn't this make enemies come run at me? Hey, get out of here! Dude, that's a good noise too. Listen to this. Well, it's like a it's like an energy generator. It's just a loud humming, like mm -hmm. obviously you can hear it, but. I think it's a pretty cool noise. I like it. And it's a very soothing noise. I like bassy noises. I think most people like deep bassy noises. Um, which is probably why uh, it's relaxing to listen to people with deeper voices. Oh wait, is this them? I think they're just soothing. You know? Yeah, that's why I like drums. That's why I like bass and songs. It's very calming. Oh my god, this person's here now? Dude, I just want to get this quest done, alright? Can we just, can we just have, him so, have him spawn? Right? Right, they gotta be here. Maybe I'll look it up real quick. Wait, Summoner Canton's Prize. Stone of Glasses. Don't you spawn while I'm looking this up, alright? Stone of Glasses. Let's see here. 
Sun Fury Conjure. Hold on. Summoner Canthan. Here we go. Where's Summoner Canthan? All right. He does spawn right here, apparently. So we're on the we're on the right track. Just a very slow spawn. Apparently, he also roams the road. She seems to have a long spawning time, as I have been here for 10 minutes after she died, and she's still not here. All right, great to know. Uh, 5764. Oh yeah, I don't have my coordinates on this thing. Um, <laughs> hello. I'm, uh, just waiting here. Just waiting here, just like you. And you. Apparently everybody's waiting here. Just, uh, just waiting. <laughs> this is the, uh, this is the true Outlands experience where nobody got credit for the same mobs. Everybody just had to wait, and you're just like, all right, any any second now, they're going to spawn. They're going to spawn, and then everybody else kills it, and you're like, well, I guess I got to wait again. Any minute, any second now. Any day now. <laughs> what if we uh what if we just set up a campfire here, Larry? What do we got? Um do I have cooking? I don't think I ever learned cooking. I don't think I can make a basic campfire. I can't. I never learned it. Well, we're going to freeze to death. That's unfortunate. Um, well, <laughs> this is a, it's a pretty terrible way to go out, freezing to death, waiting for a mob to spawn. But uh, I guess we can just... I guess we can just, you know... <laughs> Except oh, that's not them. Yes. Nope. I don't want their signet. I don't even want their signet. Well, <laughs> back to sitting we go. Any day now they're gonna spawn, Larry. Any day now. Man, I've really gotten uncreative with Larry's outro lines. Isn't that right, Larry? You've never been creative.